Right, so this week we're gonna make one of these for this chainsaw, because it didn't come with one. Okay, so chainsaws normally come with these plastic guard thingies, and they're relatively cheap, but they're effective at stopping um, you cutting yourself on the blade when you're moving it around. Um, this one didn't come with one because I bought it off eBay, and I don't have a machine to do these injection molding things, so we're gonna make a wooden one for this. So I'm gonna use some of this thin ply that's left over from an old project uh, as the sides, and we're gonna take some measurements. The really easy way of taking measurements. So obviously we don't want to cut out this because it needs something to stick to to make it thick enough for the blade. We're gonna add a piece of wood down the middle. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do all this by eye because it doesn't need to be accurate. There's a good chance this is gonna get knocked around quite a lot. And then, touch the line there, touch the line there, like that. Okay, so this is, if we go to the thickest point, which is probably there, is, can we see? It's 5.4 millimeters. So I think if we make it eight. Okay, so we set this gap to eight millimeters and we're gonna pass this through until we get some nice little strips that we can stick on the edges. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're going to stick these just above these lines, just to give a little bit of clearance for the chain to go in and out. Okay, so we're gonna be using wood adhesive um, initially. Um, I'm quite impatient for this stuff to go off, so I'm gonna put a little bit of super glue on a couple of points along these, around in amongst the wood glue, and that'll allow me to stick it instantly and carry on whilst the super glue kind of holds that in place while this goes off, because this is a much more flexible, stronger bond, ultimately. So for the end of the guard, we're going to cut a couple of little chunks of wood and simply super glue them into place. Okay, so we're just going to get rid of some of the fluff on some of these edges because I'm using quite a coarse blade on the um, bandsaw at the minute. So it's a little bit rough around the edges, quite a bit rough around the edges in places. Uh, so we're gonna tidy that up now. We're just gonna give it a quick sand. So this side is just gonna get a full amount of glue because I want the whole lot to 
really set before I start sanding the edges and making the thing a bit neat and tidy. And I don't have to wait for it because it's lunchtime. Okay, so one clamp. Hopefully dry. Okay, so this is all made and sanded. And we're just gonna use this to round over the corners so that there's no splinters and it will look better. All done, all nice and rounded. It's all nice and smooth. All that's left is to oil it. And we happen to have a handy holder so that I can oil it without it sitting down on anything. Oh, there is some in there. Phew. So if you like this sort of thing, please check out some of my other videos and consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.